Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. And today we're gonna talk about this awesome dome diffuser for flashes. This works not only with speed light flashes like the Godox V860 Mark III, but also with other monolight flashes. This is the Godox ML CD15. Now this really does help take your photography to another level, especially if you are someone who's shooting off a speed light flash on the go events, or a lot of things that are moving where you can't rely on a dedicated flash that's on a stand. Personally, I never, ever like the way the flash looks just coming straight out of the speed light. Now there are various diffusers out there for speed lights, though I think this is one of the best because it has a wide source, definitely helps wrap the light around your subjects more because it's a wider source, but also the way it diffuses, it's not very harsh, doesn't feel like a concentrated beam and it's actually very easy to put on. The Godox ML CD15 actually comes with various adapters for various types of flashes. But for monolights or things of that nature, I actually use other bigger diffusers. For speed light flashes, I think this is a great choice. However, I have been using the Gary Fong Light Sphere, which is pretty similar. Now, I got the Gary Fong Light Sphere maybe seven, eight years ago. And at the time, it was a lot more affordable than it is now. Now on Amazon, this retails for about 80 or 90 US dollars, which I think is overkill. This here, Godox ML CD15, retails for about 30 US dollars. Both of them really do an incredible job, but currently this is the one I'm recommending to most shooters. However, there is one pretty big flaw that's not hard to work around, but it is very annoying. And it's that it's a little too heavy. If you shoot vertically, after a few seconds, it starts to droop. And especially if you're moving, it droops a lot more and a lot faster. Now the simple workaround is instead of holding the camera with two hands, you hold the camera with one hand and then use your other hand to hold the flash so it doesn't droop. So when I shoot, I'm pretty much holding it like this. Now with the Gary Fong Light Sphere, that never happens. I can shoot for hours and it will not droop. It does not put too much weight on the speed light. But again, it's almost three times the price of the Godox. So Godox, if you're watching this, if you can make another version of this that's just a little bit lighter, that would make a huge difference and will make this a no-brainer for people to get. Maybe the dome diffuser a little bit smaller, maybe less hard plastic around the edge that actually holds it onto the flash. If you do that, then you'll definitely be the number one choice for dome diffusers on speed light flashes. All right, so we're gonna do a few different tests so you can see what the Godox diffuser does. We're going to do some photos with my friend Amari here, who works on this channel with me. So here's a photo with the flash at full power pointed directly forward right at Amari with the dome diffuser. Here's a photo with no dome diffuser and the speed light flash pointed directly at Amari. So here's a photo with the dome diffuser pointed directly up at the ceiling. Here's a photo with no dome diffuser and the speed light flash pointed directly up at the ceiling. Overall, I'm actually really happy with this. I use this more when I'm doing short shoots, but if I'm doing a long shoot, then I definitely go with the Gary Fong Light Sphere. If you're interested in getting either of these diffusers, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.